Good morning and welcome back to Professor Simon YouTube channel. Yesterday the Ethiopian air crash report was published and actually what it says makes the situation way worse. Turns out that after the Lion Air crash Ethiopian Airlines and other airlines were informed by Boeing about the MCAS system. On the fateful day in Ethiopia, the pilots found a runaway trim and switched off the MCAS as indicated by Boeing. But what I think happened is that the initial MCAS activation forced the plane two and a half degrees, forced the tail, the horizontal stabilizer, two and a half degrees down. So for forcing the nose down, they pulled back, switched off the MCAS, and needed to retrim the plane to level more neutral flight. So they reactivated the electric trim system. Remember there's trim wheels in the cockpit, but it takes a lot of turns to get it back to neutral and two and a half degrees moving this whole horizontal stabilizer is a big force for them. So rather than doing it manually and under in a time critical at a low altitude, they switched it back on to get the electronic electric trim back as soon as they put the uh, horizontal stabilizer trim switch back on, MCAS seems to have applied a second two and a half degree downward force. I mean, just for people who don't know, this ironically is a de Havilland Comet, <laughs> another fateful airliner. So in the 737 MAX, the whole of this horizontal stabilizer is trimmable by a jack screw and the computer um, will activate it when it erroneously thought the nose was too high, it pushes the nose down. So the pilots need to trim it back level to then have minimal control force on there uh, in the cockpit so they can fly the plane. So let's just go over this again. What seems to have happened is they had an erroneous MCAS activation. It trimmed the plane down they pulled back, turned off the MCAS system, and it trimmed it down again. They're now really in a nose down attitude. They pull back up, maybe they, they turned it off, but by then, now this is the, my real worry. By then, when you've retrimmed the horizontal stabilizer so much, the little elevators at the back no longer can overcome the trim force of the whole horizontal stabilizer moving and the plane is doomed. This is also at low level and it was time critical. So it seems that, by cat, it seems that the trim system, the MCAS trim system reactivates every time you switch it back on and adds another two and a half degrees nose down. This has to be fixed. Plus, I mean, I'm really going to go out on a limb here. I think transport commercial aircraft should not be certified unless they're horizontally, horizontally pitch stable. Hands off flying stays level. And this plane wasn't pitch level with these big engines on the front of the wings. And that's what the MCAS fixed and it didn't work. Thanks for being patient with this. Thanks for joining me on this kind of learning exercise. And thanks you for all the amazing feedback that you've sent me. Hopefully this is useful for you and Boeing flying passengers and pilots will learn from this terrible accident. Thanks for watching.